Okay, we're good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, gotta have a look. How, how many saw the blooper reel yesterday that Elias put out? Wasn't that yeah. funny? Oh, uh, go go on to the GNA homepage, group page, and uh, yeah, you saw it. Look at look at <laughs> the blooper reel. It's, it's, it's the only time you'll see Elias acting the way he was acting. <laughs> you saw the blooper reel, huh? I saw it. <laughs> Wasn't it good? Let's go viral. <laughs> hey, you Eric, Eric, I put that out on Sunday at about 11.30, and I'm getting some pretty vulgar language in, with acronyms, OMFG, right? And From and everybody all over Northern California. Who knows? <laughs> Hilarious, yeah. <laughs> it's, on Hi. it's on Facebook. <laughs> Go to the GNA group page and yeah. we'll see it. So on that note, I got my orange light. It's a go. Houston will no go, no go for launch. Light go. So at this time, Chloe, I need you to like come hang out on the side somewhere. Everyone say bye, Chloe. <laughs> What's our tradition, Eric? Well, you know, I'll introduce him here, so just in case you didn't know, is we sit our speakers all the way to the back. So in San Jose, we have that long patio. You know, in San Bruno, we just send them to the back. <laughs> Why do we do that, Eric? Just because it's more fun. And Elias has me brainwashed into doing it. So why do we really do that? <laughs> so on that note, our feature presentation today is Coy, E. Al Coy is our actress name on Facebook. And she's going to talk to us just some good tips about nutrients, the good nutrients, the bad nutrients, all of which I don't obviously do to myself. So, we need this are we la Angie, are we laughing? No, I love you, Gil. I love you, Gil. Just smile. <laughs> so, it's going to be how many brought pins and paper? Go ahead and bring your pins and papers out. Because she's going to give us some great. Go nuggets that you're going to be able to take home and use in your everyday living myself. So on that note, why don't we get like all nice and loud to where we're almost getting kicked out of this place. And welcome, E.L. Cohen! Um, I first want to introduce myself because a lot of you don't know me. In fact, I don't think anybody here knows me. <laughs> really? So I'm going to let you know a little bit about who I am and what I'm about. Uh, basically, I'm introducing a new product uh, that just the company was just uh, put together last year, and uh, it's called Terra Vitae. Now, you know, Terra means the earth and biotech, biotechnology, uh, the technology of the living organisms. And uh, what we have done is we've gone around the world and collected up the best of the best. And our scientists have formulated a well-balanced nutrient in a two and a half shot bottle. This is your portion that you take. So it's easy to carry with you. I'm going to tell you why you want this. I'm going to tell you why you want this for your family. So that's, that's what we're here about today. Now, if you notice on the invitation on Facebook, I didn't say I was going to be giving you a presentation. I'm a presenter, but we're going to have a discussion. I don't like to go and sit and listen to somebody yada 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 yada. So I'm not going to do that to you. We're going to have interaction. Whenever you feel the impulse to ask a question, please ask. If I cannot answer it, I will refer you to someone or an article where you can get your answer. Okay? Or I can get back to you at the time with the answer. Because I'm not going to pretend like I'm an expert on anything but one thing, and I'll tell you what that is. Okay. Uh, when I was about five years old, I got polio. 
and I was paralyzed on my left side. I was very fortunate. I was uh, in the study with this doctor who came from Australia, and instead of putting me in braces, I went to UCSF. She came there in Australia, and she set up a ward. They gave her a ward at the San Francisco General Hospital. And I was a candidate that was selected to go and participate in a study that she insisted was the right way to handle children with polio. Um, it was a very tough thing. My mother had nine children in her home, and the home was quarantined. And if you know what quarantine means, in those days, no one could come in or go out. And people would leave food on the doorstep. It was sad. But anyway, I, I think about it now, I get very sad. But it's a good story. And, and, um, with this event that I participated in, I didn't get braces. I got intensive exercise. And uh, because of the exercise, my muscles did not continue to deteriorate. It fought back the deterioration. And uh, when I left the hospital walking and talking and fussing like a five-year-old would, I was given every possible toy that you could have to ride, scooter, bicycles, skates, everything to keep my muscles going. Uh, my sisters are really, really happy to see that come out. <laughs> and some of them I never had a chance to touch. And some of you ladies might understand what it was back in those days if you had a flexi, the boy scout. Okay? <laughs> so, but it was a really, really good thing because that set my life on a particular course. And that course is, I know I can do whatever I need to do to keep this body functioning. And that attitude, because I overcame and so many others didn't, has kept me with that effort of overcoming every time my body is attacked. Now, I, I won't go into absolute details, but I will give you a short list of some of the things. Some of you here in this room have never had surgery in your life. Okay? I haven't had a lot of surgeries, but I have had surgery where I died on the table and came out of my body and watched the nurses work crazy trying to revive me. Okay? And I got back. It was a great feeling to be out. But I got back in my body because I had a child that I didn't think she was um, a special. And I didn't think if I could treat her right. So I got I saw her and I got back into my body. Okay. And that continued me on my path. I had spinal meningitis and um, it was supposed to be quite critical, but I overcame that. Okay. I had uh, kidney failure and five years of dialysis, and I've been kidney transplant 14 years. Now, I want to tell you, those things are not easy to live through. Most of the people that I knew that went on dialysis, or preparing to go on dialysis, going on dialysis is one thing, but the time when you're diagnosed, or the symptoms start, and you're actually getting on dialysis is really critical, because so many people die in that, in that span. You have to, your kidneys have to get down to like 4% of function before they will put you on dialysis at that time. Because dialysis only took you up to like 6%. But it's functional. Okay. So, almost everybody I knew passed away at that time. At that time span before they got to dialysis. And some during the surgery because your body's so weak. Now the reason I'm going into all of this sounds so negative. I'm so sorry to start your morning out this way. But, I need you to understand where I'm coming from when it comes to the body. Um, I, I've had a lot of people, like most of you have, that have had medical issues. And some of them have passed on. And out of my frustration of uh, dealing with this, I went into the serious quest for answers and herbs. And uh, this was back in the 70s. And I, I did this for a while, and I mixed different herbs together, and it was really fabulous. Um, I, I found things that helped severe acne and so forth and so on. I never wrote a book. I never kept notes. But I did introduce a lot of these things on a television network where I had a talk show several years back, five years back. But um, I had so many things happening in my life physically 
that I had to listen to my body. I got to the place where I did not trust doctors at all. I mean, it was really bad. I didn't trust them at all. I found one doctor that I learned to trust because she was a kind of doctor who encouraged you to listen to your body, take your own medical situation in your own hands, pay attention, and follow through with your own needs. You are your first doctor. Okay? And then you get the expert on different areas to help you, to guide you through. Now the reason I'm telling you all of these things, there's more disasters in my life, but I won't go through all of them. But physical disasters. But the reason is because I am an expert. But I'm not an expert in nutrition. I'm not an expert in network marketing, although I've been in network marketing for many years. Uh, the very selective. I've never sold any products to ingest in your body other than aloe vera and spirulina back in the 70s. Okay, but I've never gotten involved with any of these products that they've seen on the market. And the reason I didn't get involved with these products is because I don't believe in OD on something. And what you're finding is so many companies will go out and find something on an island that the native people use for medicine. And they'll say, ooh, this is good. It takes care of this problem. Then they'll buy up the island. They'll bottle up all the goodies on the island. They'll artificially reproduce these plants or whatever they found. And then they'll sell it to you for a fortune and tell you you need to drink it every day. Well, that's not the way you can handle anything that is helpful. Olding on everything, including water, is dangerous. Anything you can consider good is good in moderation to address to the purpose, but not the best vitamins will kill you if you take too much. You can die from drinking too much water. You know, so we want to be sound and not just be about the bottom line. The bottom line is a good thing we need, and we all need money to make it. But we don't want to fall into these traps with companies that will sell you a great big bottle full of preservatives because they've shipped this stuff here, they've bottled it here, and they give you a huge portion of it to justify the outrageous cost. And what are you drinking? You're drinking dead substance with a lot of preservatives. And you're getting a little better at first, but then it's over. You're just drinking and drinking and drinking and making somebody rich, okay? That's not what I'm about. That's not what this company I'm involved in is about. And we're going to talk about it in the morning. Okay? My expertise is here. My expertise is surviving in this body. And that's what I bring to you. That's what I bring to you. Helping four children, 11 grandchildren, and seven great-grandchildren. And my expertise is coming from my experience in life. I have some little degrees, but they're little degrees, and there's nothing to do with nutrition. They're real estate, accounting, business. This is my heart. Nutrition is my heart. Because I know how important it is. You can do nothing in business, in life, if your body is not properly balanced in nutrition. Your brain will not function, will not sleep, you will not continue to be at your best, and you may not be able to be at your worst. You may be able to do nothing. Nutrition is the first line of survival in any business situation you want to get into. Any kind of success. You can't put that money in front. You've got to put your body in front. And it's got to be your body. And it's not just nutrition, it's water. Why water? Because your body is, what, 70%? 75% water. And we are an electrical system. And a lot of you understand what happens when electricity goes through water. Right? Exactly. Woo! Woo! So you got plenty of water in there. Your electrical system's going to work wonderful. But if you don't have enough water in there, it's going to 
bog down. Something is going to kink up. You're going to get a short out. The messages won't get carried through to your sales. And what sales are we talking about? All the sales. The sales in your organs, the sales in your brain. You have a short out. Duh. You can't find the words that you're trying to say. You know, the organs gets a, skips a beat. Not just the heart. You've got the kidney, the pancreas, all of these things. They have to have that electrical system working. You have to have a system that carries the nutrients. You have to have the enzyme things that, that digest and consume and disperse the nutrients. Everything has to work all together and it's all electrified. Remember, in elementary school we learned about the atoms and uh, the electrons that fly around the atoms. And what happens when that electrons go off? They share with other things, they bond together, so forth and so on. But if you don't have enough electrons for that particular atom's requirement, you're going to have problems. And some of those problems come because we have things in our body called free radicals. And those free radicals are these lovely little monsters that come into our body. They're there, they're supposed to be there. There's some good things that it does too. But it eats up the electrons from our atoms. And it causes the atomic structure to go into malfunction. And these are some of the things that cause illness. And we want to avoid that. And how do we avoid that? By eliminating some of these free radicals. Now some of them need to be there. But we don't need all the free radicals we have in our body today in America. Okay? And the reason we have so much that are doing all this damage is because we're not eating nutritious food. We're eating junk. We're eating gut fillers. We're eating dead food. And you think you go to the store, you get all this organic stuff that's grown out here, grown out there. What soil did it come from? Did the soil have the nutrients in it? If it's not in the soil, it's not going to get into the vegetable. It's not going to get into the fruit. It's not going to get into anything you're consuming. You've got to have it there in the first place. And nature, God, whatever you want to call this entity that placed all these things there, it's a big boom, whatever, whatever your heart says, you know, it was there. And only man has destroyed and eliminated these things by what? And introducing pesticides, you know, uh, over farming. Now everybody knows that back in the day they would rotate when they would farm. You would grow something here this month. Now next season you got to grow something else because why? Because that plant took so much of those nutrients out of the soil. So you either let it rest. You know, and let some of the decay come back and just put it back in there. Or you plant something else that doesn't take that kind of nutrient out. But they don't do that anymore. Why? Bottom line, greed. They get a plot of land and they just farm it and farm it and farm it and farm it. Well, my goodness, we're making so much money on this. We've got to keep this thing going. And in every season, they put the same thing, same thing. Whoops! Everything, the nutrients are gone. So they put the artificial nutrients in there. Well, let's put this back in here. We'll just take this oil product over here and we'll produce it. We'll put it back in there. But what is that? That's not what was there in the first place. So we're not getting what we're supposed to have. And this is so sad that our country has done this to us. Okay? So who's suffering? You know, I mean, our children. Not just us. And our children after our children. And what is how does that affect how does it affect you when your neighbor's child's suffering? Okay? Um, you're gonna have children that are acting out. You're gonna have children that are coming over and burglarizing your house, tearing up your property. They cannot function in school, they cannot learn, they cannot contribute to society because they're suffering from malnutrition. We are in a perpetual state of malnutrition and dehydration. And it's not, it's not a joke, it's really serious. And we all have to pay attention to what's happening. 
in our country, in our homes, in our grocery stores, in our bodies. It's our responsibility. We have to take this responsibility. So I'm going to show you a little thing. You know, excuse my back. I'm going to introduce you to the company. Um, the reason this company was created in the first place. It's a little story, and it's, I hope I don't take too much time. I'm sure Elijah's going to tell me. You've got about 15 minutes. Okay. So this is just a few minutes. It's a little film. And I'm going to just show you part of it, just to introduce to you the reason this, this company was created. And um, as you get into listening to a little bit about this product, I was really hoping that I would be able to create, I, in fact, I ordered 90 bottles. And uh, when I ordered this month, I'll, I'll, I'll take it in just a second. I ordered 90 bottles that, I, that came in last week. And I did this because I'm going to make sure I had plenty samples to bring you guys. Duh! That's all there is. That's all there is. <laughs> That's <funny. laughs> you know? And because it, it goes. It just goes, 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 goes. I have people that have all kinds of conditions that are just in love with this because it's made a difference in their life. And that's what we want to do. We want, if we can't cure it, we're going to at least improve the quality. And that's what we want to do. So I'm going to, I'm going to turn this on and just, let this do a little talking. Uh, yeah. Just a little bit. I think it's, yeah. Are you trying to play a DVD? Uh, yeah, 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 it's all right. You can just use media player. I do what? You can just use media player. Yeah, that, that should probably do it. There you go. In 2007, she came to me one day and she said, I have a lot. And I'm real concerned about it. And I need to see the doctor. They, they determined it indeed was was cancerous. And they also determined that it was very fast growing and very aggressive. The first thing I said to her was, should we look at some other options that are out there? There really wasn't a lot of time to consider holistic methods. We did what the doctor said. She went in and had a mastectomy. And there was a lot of complications just in the process of having that done. About the time I was supposed to have the port put in for chemo, I developed a MRSA staph infection. And they had to go back in. So you're talking three surgeries in about a six to seven week time frame. That put me mentally and physically behind the eight ball for chemo. You've got five kids, and this is a hard thing to go to the kids and talk to them about to begin with. I remember when our friend passed away, and I took the kids to the funeral. There was so much emotion. And at the time, Jamie, she had the bandana, she had no hair, she was going through chemo, she was in the, in the heart of this whole situation. The kids all looked at me, and they were still all teared up. They're like, Dad, what's going to happen to Mom? It was important to me that I get better for my kids. And almost a year later, I wasn't getting there. Knowing that the doctors don't give you any kind of guarantee drove me to researching and knowing a lot more about the situation. My husband decided to find something that would make me feel better. I spent countless hours online talking to people, talking to people that through, talking to doctors, talking to holistic practitioners. I had to have been taken 16 to 20 supplements at that time. And they just weren't making me feel bad. I was taking them because everybody said they were good for me and it would help me get better, but it, it didn't. On Warren's journey to find something to make me feel better, he was introduced to superfoods. Superfoods 
are foods that are growing in nutrient-dense soils. The soils in this country have changed over 30, 40 years. I was able to provide to my wife, at her worst point, some of these types of superfoods. And what it did was it changed her. For me, it was like the clouds parted and, and the sunshine came through. I was out on the job site and she contacted me and said, I don't know what's going on, but I'm cooking dinner today. And that was the first time in probably a year. I just felt so good. I didn't realize how bad I felt until I felt good. That took him on a path to find out everything he could about superfoods and how nutritionally sound they were. To different parts of the world, to look at different foods, to, to see how they grow, to, to understand, to talk to people, and look at. I looked at the types of, of, of disease and illness that people were getting in those different parts of the country, and I, they were much much lower rates. It was it was it was exciting. It's wonderful to get up in the morning and go and feel good and just live life. When things changed for her as drastically as they did, when. I was able to find superfoods, and she was introduced to those. We have to help people go down that same path. We don't have a choice. That completely changed my focus. What I found from people consuming these types of products that come from these nutrient-dense soils is it impacts every part of the physical being. It impacts them mentally, physically. It changes everything. That was the genesis for TerraBiotech. That's the mission that we're on. That's our purpose. Among the many things I learned while traveling through the Amazon rainforest was that time is a critical factor in harvesting and processing these fruits. Their healthful qualities begin to deteriorate immediately after they're picked. To retain their maximum nutrient qualities, they need to be processed quickly, within hours of harvest. If they sit in a warehouse for a long time before they're processed, they lose their potency. Unfortunately, there's nothing on the label that tells you that. This is one of the key differences between Terra Biotech products and other supplements. This is really what sets us apart. We not only source our ingredients from the most nutrient-rich soils in the world, we also go the extra distance to find organic ingredients which are processed within hours of harvesting. Out of this search for knowledge came a company that offers a solution for others who are also on a quest for health and happiness. Now, I want you guys to ask any questions. I'm going to pass out a little information to you. Um, what I'm going to do is just... just okay, I, I, won't, I won't keep it very long. Um, the, this, I copied some of these down because this is a list. It's just interesting. It may impact your life at some time or another. It may not. But it's a list of uh, nutrients, and uh, when you, it, it tells you what it's doing. I would chart when it's deficient and uh, when it's too much, and what happens to your body in the process. There's several charts like this. I thought this one was really interesting, uh, where it talks about the different fats and what you, amino, amino acids, uh, if you have, what happens to your body deficiency if you have uh, not enough, and then what happens to your body if you have too much of it. It's really interesting. You can look at these when I give you some of them. Okay, so everybody have one? Oh, yeah, she's on the Okay, so if you look on there, you might find something that you thought was a great supplement. And um, and you can see what happens when you don't have enough. And you can also see what happens when you have too much. And uh, that's basically to pull your mind into the focus of the fact that everything... Um, I really don't have much more. I want to ask, I want you guys to ask questions. I'm going to pass around. These things here are just some case studies and some reports. Don't take them home with you, you know, because I might not be able to copy them again. I want you to just go through them while we're discussing, making a short discussion here. I want you to go through them and see if there's anything here that you're interested in on the articles and any subject, any topic that you would be interested in. Just pass them to me. I'll somebody look at some of those. Yes, question. The way I try to uh, take care of myself is uh, really basic. Uh, you know, a proper diet, eating basic foods, avoiding processed foods, uh, trying to get enough sleep, uh, exercise. 
make the body safe. Is that not enough? I mean, do I really have to get into more items? Looks like it's working for me, but what should make me decide to do a little more? I'm just curious. Well, it's, it's, uh, if you're satisfied with what's going on in your life right now and how your body's talking to you, that's fine. You know? But if you have that little evening voice in your head is saying that you want more, that you think that there's more for your body, there's more your body can do. You know, um, you know, I'm not a perfect body here. You know, I mean, this is nobody's nobody's perfect, but we want to be the best that we can be in the circumstances of whatever we're in. And uh, so much of us, when, when you know better, you do better. Most people. <laughs> Some people you know, but they know better, they, they do other things anyway. So what are any strengths that you have? Okay, um, I'm going to, I'm just going to hit the, 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 the next section talks about the ingredients. Yes. Let me let you, let me, let me just pop this right quick and let you look. Uh, most advanced science and research to deliver products that can have a dramatic impact in the lives of people you know. At the core of Terra Biotech's proprietary line of superfood supplements is a product uniquely blended to provide maximum health benefits. That's why it's called Core, Nectar Core. Terra Biotech's nutritional scientists formulated Nectar Core from an assortment of tropical fruits, botanicals, and herbs grown in the most nutrient-dense soils in the world. It contains more than 10 superfoods that were selected for their ability to fight free radicals and oxidative stress. Working together synergistically, Nectar Core's ingredients help you to stay well, enjoy high energy and mental clarity, and maintain a youthful appearance. If you have trouble rising and shining in the morning, it could be you're missing some vital nutrients. Terra Biotech has the solution. It's called Nectarize. It's a combination of ingredients that will give you natural sustained energy, not the jittery short-lived boost you get from stimulant-based energy drinks. You may not realize it, but while you sleep, your body is very busy repairing itself and preparing for the new day's challenges. To help your body get the restorative, restful sleep it needs, Terra Biotech has created Nectar Calm. Starting with the ingredients found in Nectar Core, Nectar Calm adds a blend of calming herbs, including lemon balm, passion flower, valerian, and hops. It also includes L-theanine, an amino acid chemically identical to that found in green tea. It has melatonin to take you further into a restful sleep. This blend of superfoods, botanicals, and herbs help promote and improve sleep patterns. But because Nectar Comb contains no drugs to put you to sleep, you can also take it any time you're feeling stressed or just want to relax. At Terra Biotech, we recognize that exceptional leaders deserve... Okay. So basically, that's it. That's my presentation. And we're going to have questions and answers as long as you want to be. Okay. Thank you very much. This is the time is up. Okay. Yes, this is the after science. And this one thing, this one shot. Eric? And that's the last one I've got, so you gotta, you got to pass on that one. I'll just have to give you a little sample of the time. <laughs> no, this is, uh, this is it. Not, this is what you do. Yeah, this is, this is your, this is your sample. Okay. This, is the, this is what you actually take. Okay. So you, know, you can carry this with you. You can put it in your briefcase. You know, my fact, this is really, it has kind of like um, a chocolate aftertaste because it has cocoa in it. It was chocolate. But <laughs> <laughs> it's not really chocolate. It's kind of like, didn't chocolate. you have some? Chocolate. Which one I gave you some samples. Yeah, when we were at, over at uh, uh, Eric's uh, shop. I gave you some samples. Can't you? I think it was this. You must have put them down didn't pay attention to them. <laughs> you know, I think I drank them. Did you? Okay, anyway, it has kind of like a chocolate aftertaste. Yeah. Chocolate with a vanilla flavor. My favorite is the yellow one because uh, I've had a lot of uh, brain problems. Like I said, I'm a kidney transplant patient and I've been taking anti rejection drugs for 14 years. And if somebody, if you guys know what that is, 
it's, it's, it's drugs that bring down your immune system. It's basically killing my immune system. And the reason that it has to do that is because the transplant I have in there doesn't belong to my body. It belongs to somebody else's body. And even though it was a very good match, it's still all the little things are not connected. And uh, the, the little white cells are going to say, Woo, what is this? You don't belong in here. And they'll run after you and attack it. And you get all these little white webs that must come in and just choke it down. And that'll be rejection. And it's that on dialysis. Okay, it's a horrible thing. Okay. But I have to maintain a balance. I can't let my immune system go down too far because then what? Cancer of every kind, any kind of illness that's flying around is mine. Okay? So um, if somebody coughs in my face, I might punch them. Because for me, that's a deadly assault. Because if I get a virus, I'm gone. Okay? I can't take I can't take anti, um, antibiotics like most people can. I can take some, but I'm allergic to most of them, and that just happened after the dialysis. And because you know the system is all over whack, and I've had to have my thyroid removed, so that's even more mess. Okay, so once once your system gets fouled up, believe me, you are well, and you don't realize what a tight rope you're walking. So like you said, you know, I don't want to put the fear of God in you, but I want to put the fear of death into you. Because actually death can be a blessing if you if you fall into a long-term illness. You know, some people say. <laughs> so, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it, you know, it's really serious. You've got to have nutrition. And the reason I got involved with this company is because I recognized the ingredients in here, most of them. Some of them I never heard of before, but I, I knew so many things that they were in this bottle were things that I had mixed together back in the day that worked. And so when this guy went out there and put this together, and all those scientists who worked with him and put this together, I said, praise God, but I'll tell you what I said first. <laughs> when my friend came to me and talked about me selling some junk, I retired from retail 40 years. Okay, that's what I did. I didn't want any products. Okay, I said, no. I said, don't do this to me. Get out of my face. And we almost fell out permanently behind it. And I talked, I said, I got text, text and I sent him, I told him, I'm not interested, don't dare ever ask me, I'll do this because you asked it only for 40 years, this is a gift to you, don't ever ask me to do anything else. Then I got the products, I tried the products, it's only since December. I had little damage to my brain to where I could not pursue my education because I would have had to take calculus and my brain would not do that. I forgot that I had algebra several times and took it over and over again. Duh. Because the brain wasn't working right. Okay? And I would talk. I couldn't bring forth words. You know, I, like I was afraid I was going to have Alzheimer's. And so I wouldn't have all these tests that cost me thousands of dollars over my insurance. I drank the, the, the yellow one, the one they call Rise. And I'm telling you, the energy that I got the natural, solid, sustaining energy and the brain ability. I can think again. I can recall things again. Um, I'm going to run in my mouth now. Please consider trying this. If you don't do anything else, do it for your loved ones. And that's it. Before you leave, round of applause.